Um, today is is Tuesday. I think that means August twentieth of two thousand and nineteen. And so um, here I am. It's oh, it's still morning time. I don't know, ten o'clock, ten thirty, somewhere right in there. And I came out because I I wanted to uh, get this motorcycle up and running today, and see, or see if I could anyway. Anyway, over the past two days, Sunday, I started uh, um, working on this carburetor here. Or, or, well, not just this one, but all four of them, the, the set of carbs here. And what I did is I replaced all the tubes, all the gas line with this, this fuel line tube. It's just a rubber tube. Um, I'm not sure that was a good idea because I, it does look... I noticed that when uh, when it touches the uh, carb cleaner, it kind of disintegrates, so that's not good. But for as long as I can remember not to have carb cleaner anywhere around it, I think I'll be fine. But the reason I got this <clears throat> video camera out and to start to show you is because one of the problems I was having is, uh, well, the problem I was having was quite... There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, the slow jets would get clogged real easy. Um, and so I knew I was having a problem with the slow jets. And also, something else was, was causing the, um, the fuel to continue running enough that it was overflowing. So wherever it was coming from, it would come into the air intake where the air filter is housed the housing here and it would fill that up with gasoline and so it would just leak straight through so that's one reason why I replaced all the all the fuel line with this rubber hose also to stop all the the blockages I put in this inline fuel filter which is ugly it doesn't fit here I tried to put it behind the first carburetor here um, just right in that space it fits perfectly except that these connectors on the ends are, are they're an inch and a half long. Why in the world would they do that? I don't know. But on each side, so I up right up in here, I couldn't handle that 90 degree turn because it they, the uh, the nubs butt up to get uh, against each other, and it was a 90 degree, and it was like there's no possible way this hose can turn 90 degrees without kinking. So in that position, in fact, maybe it was more than 90 or less than 90. But, uh, yeah, I guess it was closer to maybe, well, with the hose, 45. Anyway, so I, I ran it out here. It goes all the way around and down, and so it kind of sits out here and does its thing. Anyway, this morning, look at this. You can see right through this, which is why I kind of like it. You can't see it very well, but there is loads and loads of gunk right in there, just on this top part. Now this is the part that actually comes from the fuel tank. So this is the fuel tank out, and it comes down, and there is a whole bunch of just sand, uh, rust. It's whatever's in the tank right now, and it's all different sizes. It's kind of a dust, but unfortunately I just can't. With maybe if I stood up here and made a shadow, no. That didn't work because I got a glare coming from somewhere. Anyway, uh, I'm glad I have this air filter in here, or this what this fuel filter in here, because I know this is what was causing half of the problems with my motorcycle. Uh, I couldn't get it to idle. Um, it would run only with the clutch fully engaged. Uh, and yesterday I had it running real well. I could start it up, and within the three minutes, I just followed the instructions with the from the manual for starting it, and it worked absolutely fantastic. Um, yesterday I had it working real well, uh, and so <laughs> it was so hot that when I was adjusting the fuel mixtures on each of the carburetors, the fuel air mixture. Um, I couldn't get the number two carburetor because my hand there's just not enough room in there for my and I'm left I'm right-handed and I and I could only get in there with the left hand and I just couldn't do it. 
So today I'm going to, I was able to get carburetors one, three, and four, but not number two. So today I'll um, I'm going to count the turns on on each carburetor, and then I'll match that. I'll uh, I'll match them all up with the number two carburetor, and then I'm going to start this puppy up and see if she runs. Um, I think that's going to take care of my problems. I really think I finally I finally did it. Of course, I forgot to tell you that obviously after I replaced all the all the tubes, I did make sure that all the the fuel was flowing exactly the way it should be. I went through both jets and every little piece in between that connected everything together, and, and all the lines are clear, were clear. Uh, the parts I could remove, even the pressed in slow jet, I pulled that out, and I could make sure I could see real clear right through it. So that's good. I didn't use any needles or anything to you know, wires or or stuff in there. I just blew it out with the carb cleaner and then with with air. And so that's what the manuals say to do. So that's what I did. So I'm optimistic. But um, yeah, okay, that's about it. Uh, that's the state of my motorcycle.